It's one of the most common questions that people have about earthquakes. Why do buildings shake? And the answer is actually pretty simple. During an earthquake, the ground moves in multiple directions as seismic waves travel through it. However, this motion doesn't last forever, as the energy gradually dissipates through friction and the Earth's materials. While buildings are designed to withstand these forces, they must also allow some movement to stay intact. So as the ground shakes the building, it wants to keep shaking the building even though it's not supposed to. That force creates a lot of stress in the structure. And what engineers do is they put things in the structure to help dissipate that energy, to help get rid of that unwanted motion. And they also design the structure so that if it does get damaged, it won't collapse. The way that they dissipate the energy in the building is by putting things called dampers on top of the structure. And there are several different types of dampers. One type is a mass damper, which is basically like a big heavy weight that sits on top of the building. As the building is shaking, that mass wants to keep moving, but the building isn't, so it shakes the mass back and forth. And that movement of the mass through the damper helps to dissipate the energy in the building. Another thing that engineers can do is they can add something called a tuned mass damper. This is basically the same idea as a mass damper, except that it has a mass that is tuned to the natural frequency of the building. So as the building is shaking, the mass will oscillate back and forth in a way that cancels out the motion of the building. So this helps to reduce the amplitude of the motion of the building during an earthquake. In addition to adding dampers to the structure, engineers also make sure that the structure is strong enough to withstand the earthquake forces. This means that they need to design the structure so that it can resist the lateral loads that are created by the earthquake without getting damaged. This often involves using materials that are strong in tension and compression, such as steel and concrete. So the next time you're in a building during an earthquake, just remember that there are a lot of things happening behind the scenes to keep you safe.